Hello friends, uh, I am a server of Brainstorm in the year 2021. I survived because of my positive psychology. And uh, I am uh, going with my wife uh, uh, to enjoy the nature and I will be sharing with you life and leadership. And I will uh, discuss various, various other aspects also. I would appreciate if you could uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel and share with your uh, networks. So, so first uh, I will uh, sh uh, show you the view of uh, the house where my younger son uh, Ramakrishna Sai lives. So friends, uh, let me share with you about my profile. Uh, my name is uh, Professor M. S. Rao. I have authored uh, uh, 53 books including the award winning book titled uh, See the Light in You. For which the noble are it. His own is Dalarama is it in a poor word. I have 43 years of uh, diverse food experience including Indian Air Force business, teaching and training. I am a late bloomer. Uh, dyslexic, ADHD, OCD, add to that the brain stroke worsened my health in the year 2021. 20, I don't get pension, I don't have any regular income. I, I don't have two wheeler, I don't have four wheeler. I am 61 years old with the mental challenges, physical challenges and financial challenges. And I was born into a toxic family and grew up in a toxic environment. My life is full of struggles and sufferings. Despite all the challenges, I rose from the ashes like a phoenix. Now you can see Seattle, it's a very beautiful uh, uh, city. Now it is uh, uh, fall season. You can see the color of the leaves uh, is changing and uh, you will get a beautiful, uh, beautiful it's a, uh, you can get excellent view of uh, Seattle. Seattle is a very beautiful city and uh, uh, and uh, uh, entrepreneurship thrives in uh, Seattle and uh, uh, people in Seattle are amicable and adjustable and uh, uh, people are uh, very happy overall and they respect uh, LGBT, diversity, various other aspects. There is a lot of uh, freedom in uh, USA, especially in Seattle, but the thing is uh, uh, everything is subject to rules and regulations. The weather is uh, uh, pleasant now. Sometimes uh, there's a contrast uh, in uh, uh, weather. Sometimes, uh, uh, sometimes it's uh, uh, drizzling. Sometimes it's raining. Sometimes uh, uh, sun. And uh, overall, the weather in Seattle is very uh, uh, pleasant. Please empathize with me. Uh, uh, I had a brain stroke in the year 2021, and uh, I'm holding my smartphone with my left hand. And uh, holding my uh, smartphone with my left hand is very uh, stressful and painful. And I can't shift my smartphone from left hand to right hand uh, because there is a, my right shoulder and li uh, right hand uh, is numb. But there is no sense. So I can't shift my mobile from left to right with my left hand to right hand. It's very challenging. So I'm holding with my uh, left hand and add to that uh, I'm not a digital savvy. So I upload raw videos. If you like, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.
and uh, I create uh, stories and uh, share stories to impact humankind. I am a storyteller and uh, now I am enjoying uh, the weather. So let me briefly explain about uh, uh, Seattle. Uh, entrepreneurship uh, th thrives in uh, Seattle. Just I will... Uh, here is a postman, he is delivering to every home. Wong. Huh? This must be a Chinese person, I think. You will find all kinds of people here. His name is Wong, means he's, he's must, he must be a Chinese origin. Okay, fine. It's very cold now. Yeah, I'll circle back, uh, back to the story uh, of uh, Seattle. There are some companies, uh, they are doing good. Uh, some of the companies like uh, 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 Microsoft, Amazon are from uh, uh, Seattle. And uh, Boeing operates here. Starbucks uh, operates here. And uh, <coughs> Northstrom works here. So there are so many companies uh, which are very uh, eminent. And uh, entrepreneurship thrives in uh, Seattle. Uh, that is the uniqueness of uh, Seattle. Uh, because these people, uh, these entrepreneurs worked very hard and uh, uh, they had a vision and they shut up uh, uh, enterprises and they uh, they survived and succeeded. Of course, some of the uh, entrepreneurs couldn't do well, but uh, they have some challenges. Currently, Boeing has uh, some challenges. So, ho hopefully, uh, uh, Boeing will overcome the challenges. There was some strike, uh, some challenges are going on. You know with the Bo Boeing. So this is about the entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship is for brave hearted not for faint hearted. You have to ex experiment, explore and sometimes you fail then again you learn, you keep moving. So life is like that. Not only entrepreneurship, life everywhere sometimes you uh, get things uh, Sometimes things fall into the place, sometimes things don't fall into the place. So, but we have to accept the things. We have to learn and we have to keep moving. Life is all about uh, uh, keep, um, to keep move, moving and learning lessons and, uh, and uh, leading with valuable takeaways. And uh, Seattle and Bellevue are uh, geographically connected, very close by. And uh, 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 Seattle and uh, Bellevue are just like uh, twin cities uh, of uh, Telangana, such as uh, Sikindrabad and Hyderabad. So this is briefly about uh, uh, entrepreneurship and uh, and it's briefly about Seattle. So now I'll move on to the next uh, uh, topic. Uh, I'll share with you my experiences yesterday. Uh, my younger son Ramkrishna Sai, my wife and I uh, visited uh, Washington pa Pass. And it was very amazing. It was I had a unique experience in my life, and uh, I liked a couple of places in India, like like two states uh, in India I, I loved, Kashmir and uh, Kerala. And I visited with my uh, wife and two sons. So I'm. Um, I love tra traveling, and I also inculcated uh, traveling for my two sons and my wife 
of course we always traveled on a low budget and we uh, traveled in a uh, sleeper sec second 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 class but we enjoyed every moment of our life okay that's a different uh, thing so yesterday we visited a couple, couple of places uh, washington um, uh, pass and other places uh, the the uh, yesterday was the most memorable day in my life uh, because i enjoyed uh, washington pass and uh, it was very difficult uh, for my wife and my younger son and i to walk so for more than a, a kil 1 kilometer we walked uh, in snow area we didn't know that but uh, we walked i think it took uh, 43 minutes for us because that i came to know after uh, because i recorded i started recording uh, by the time when i returned so it took 43 minutes 43 minutes in uh, ice very snow very challenging and we view, we watched the places and uh, some people were returning of the way but uh, we enjoyed because uh, my nature is once i take up something i keep moving i don't uh, return so so that's what i do so i kept moving despite having a chronic back pain in my life and yesterday and uh, we walked and uh, some people returned some people were standing so like that but uh, we had a great experience and uh, we recorded and uh, made it viral the I, i titled it as epic journey in snow that was the t- t- title i gave and uh, really it was a amazing experience i visited uh, some of the places in kashmir like pehalgam sonmarg gulmarg other places then i i also visited uh, leyland ladakh because i served in the indian air force and from chandigarh we went by an 12 aircraft if i can if i could recall i am telling very long back so snow area so really we enjoyed there but this yesterday was uh, yesterday's journey was very unique experience epic journey in my life and uh, another thing i wa- i wanted to share with you was that I, uh, i had an opportunity to go to antarctica expedition but things didn't work out if i had uh, visited uh, uh, if i had uh, uh, enjoyed the uh, antarctic e- expedition it would have been a, a memorable one in my life so friends whenever you get any opportunity don't lose the opportunities because we don't know whether we get the similar opportunities uh, next time so what are the opportunities you get avail them and don't invent excuses and so yesterday was really a unique day great day i enjoyed and my wife also enjoyed <laughs> it was very painful for my wife also she has healthy challenges and i have chronic back pain and uh, i am a survivor of brain stroke and uh, and i braved uh, uh, snow for 43 minutes and uh, uh, inclement weather and back pain so somehow i led from the front and uh, recorded and uh, made it viral and i saved so i am up- uploading videos uh, more i am uploading more videos after i came to usa and uh, so that i can keep them as my memories not exactly for monetization but to keep them as memories and uh, i am a storyteller so i share my stories because some of my stories resonates with others that's how my purpose so basic thing is to keep the keep them as my memories second thing is to share my stories to impact the human kind because some of my stories uh, if they resonates that's how my purpose and uh, 
while walking and uh, talking i am sharing some ideas insights so you can grab some of my ideas that they may be useful to you so so yesterday it was a very nice uh, journey in my life a, a, a epic journey uh, uh -huh. so we have to move forward huh? uh -huh. to enjoy uh -huh. so i am uh, standing here uh, at the signal and uh, once i get the green signal then i can keep moving huh? Uh, that one you are telling. That one or this one? Where to go? Uh, that you told that one. Okay, yeah. Okay, this one. Ah, huh? uh, okay. Okay, okay. Uh. So let me go to other side. Then I will uh, share my story. Oh, sun is very favorable now. What is this? Ah, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. We will cross, huh? huh? No, oh, yeah, that's what. So let me cross to other uh, other side. Then I will uh, share the story. Of, uh, I would uh, share with you an epic story in uh, ice yesterday at uh, Washington Pass. It was an amazing experience. I, I, I would say that it was an it was uh, it is an uh, epic uh, 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 journey and uh, experience. And yesterday, uh, very within 20 minutes, I found uh, it was raining. Then again, it was drizzling, and again uh, uh, sun. So I had uh, tested various kinds of uh, uh, situations yesterday. Within a span of I think 30 minutes, I one way uh, full the full uh, trees, everything was covered with snow. And when we moved, we went by a car. Then it was raining. Then it was dizzying. Then again, uh, there was a sun. So it was very, it was a great experience in my life. So friends, if you like this uh, video, please share with your networks. I'm, I have three YouTube channels. Uh, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Who knows if uh, some of my stories impact the humankind. That's also my purpose. Apart from enjoying the uh, nature, apart from uh, sharing my stories, I also share some ideas and insights on my YouTube channels. So please consider subscribing to my YouTube channels. I have three YouTube channels. I have four blogs. And right from my childhood, I'm passionate about acquiring knowledge and uh, I'm passionate about sharing my knowledge freely with the world. So I love acquiring knowledge and I love sharing my knowledge freely with the uh, humankind. Because the life in this world is, uh, 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 life is unpredictable. And what happens next that no one can predict. So let us enjoy each moment. And every moment matters in this world. People often uh, think 30%, people waste 30% of their precious time by thinking about the unpleasant past. So, so don't think about your unpleasant past and which will never come back. Don't think too much about the future that can't be predicted. Learn to live in the present. And every, every moment matters, especially after the brain stroke. In the year 2021, I realized how fragile the life is. Otherwise, I was taking I was taking everything for granted before the COVID but I realized how fragile the life is so enjoy every moment of your life 
every moment of your life matters sometimes i am sta stammering sometimes i am repeating the same thing please empathize with me because of my health challenges i am happy that i am alive <laughs> i am happy that i am alive and i am kicking and i am uh, rocking despite health challenges be positive and uh, my blood group is b positive and i am positive by nature so enjoy every moment of your life so uh, we started yesterday morning uh, and uh, by evening we came uh, we came and we we visited uh, three uh, Uh, places one was uh, mount rainier second thing was olympic uh, park which was very long distance and the third is uh, uh, washington pass we enjoyed really it was a great experience and uh, i don't think we will get this kind of experience again so let me go forward and uh, i'll share another aspect i'll share with you uh, a new rule that i have coined that is the professor ms rao's uh, 4 am rule there is a fire in fire engine uh. so I, i'll walk slowly because it is slippery yesterday there was a rain and uh, it's likely uh, it's likely to skid so i have to be very careful already i have health challenges i don't want some more challenges in my life so uh, i'm taking uh, extra care and i am slowly sliding down and then uh, once i am stable uh, then uh, i'll uh, share a, a new rule that is uh, uh, the professor ms rao's uh, 4am rule it is based on uh, three aspects creating generating and uh, destroying unwanted things so that the trigger that i got it and uh, why i why i uh, started this uh, new rule that is uh, the professor ms rao's uh, 4am air rule is that i am in indian air force and uh, for, for more than 40 years i am hitting the gym and second thing is for the uh, for the last 17 years i have been uh, waking up at 4:00 uh, o'clock in the morning and i am a morning man i am an early bird i am a morning person and uh, because of the healthy habits that i got from indian air force uh, i uh, started this new rule by name professor uh, the professor ms rao's uh, 4 am rule so i'll uh, walk little fo forward then and i'll uh, uh, return to the place now this is 24 minutes vancouver bc is nearby i think uh, canada is very nearby i don't know how many kilometers one of my friends is in uh, uh, vancouver bc <laughs> so this is the view point you can see and uh, this is the route my hangerson goes every day of course there are different route, uh, paths to reach
I think some uh, fire has occurred. The fire stations are uh, alerting. And this is the view you can see. Uh, you can see uh, the port very nearby and other places. So I am walking back. So you can see if it is the same tree, you will find different colors of leaves. That is the beauty of this uh, uh, tree. So I am uh, returning. Now I am cl climbing up uh, gradually. It's 25 minutes means again it will take uh, 25 minutes. So it would take I think 50 minutes plus walking down is easy. Climbing up is very difficult in life also. You can fall and fail very quickly. But again to bounce back in life is very challenging. So you should be resilient. I am resilient by nature. I failed many times. But I bounced back. So you should be resilient. People often talk about uh, resilience from books. In my own life, I am resilient by nature. I failed many times and uh, I kept moving forward. Keep moving, never give up. Ah, you can see the Boeing. Ah, yeah, you can see the view of uh, Boeing. Boeing is very nearby. Yeah, I can see. You can see, you can see the Boeing aircrafts here, hangars. Because I love, I love uh, flights. Because I'm an Air Force, uh, uh, Force veteran. For 12 years, I worked in. Uh, Indian Air Force uh, aircrafts. I worked in Mi-17 helicopters as a technician. I don't think that I was an, an officer or a pilot. I was a simple technician and I worked as an airman and I served in the lowest rank of a couple for 12 years. Okay, now let me talk about uh, 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 the Professor M. S. Rao's uh, uh, 4EM rule. Uh, this uh, rule I have created uh, because of the triggers I got it and because of my own experiences. I keep creating uh, new models, rules. I created a 11C framework that is known as on, uh, that is uh, on soft leadership. Now I started, I think, uh, 15 days ago the Professor M. S. Rao's 4M rule and I started uh, MACAS method that is about teaching and training tool so like that I keep uh, creating my own frameworks rules models I'm curious by nature and I'm creative by nature I, I don't do the routine things. I always do some something different and unique. Again, I am not an intelligent guy. I am below average uh, in intelligence, but I am very curious and uh, creative. That keeps moving. That keeps me moving forward. So this uh, uh, Professor M. S. Rao's 4M rule is uh, useful. Uh, and uh, how it goes I'll explain to you morning I wake up at 4 o'clock I create uh, knowledge and I type write but of course for the more than three and a half years I am not able to type and uh, and I can't eat with my right hand so I am reading otherwise I create uh, new knowledge and throughout the day I generate knowledge that means I connect the dots I have 43 years of uh, diverse experience including the Air Force business teaching and training and I have my own observation of 61 years all these things I integrated 
so i generate and at the end, at the end of the day i destroy unwanted uh, uh, ideas and uh, negative things from my document so precisely i am the gen creator in the morning generator throughout the day and i am the destroyer in the night so uh, that is the trigger i created and connected with my own life and created a new rule that is professor ms rao's 4m rule this uh, rule uh, uh, checks uh, uh, dementia it uh, checks depression it checks addition fatigue it helps emphasize uh, meditation walking swimming of course i was a swimmer and i was a, a di district gold medalist in uh, india so i am a swimmer and uh, i am a fitness freak for 40 years i've been uh, going to gym so these are the things help uh, to become a morning uh, a person to become a healthy bird when you become an healthy bird what happens you will have the control throughout the day and you can plan things and uh, execute them effectively people talk so many things but we have to uh, execute that is very important execution is the key everybody gets idea ideas but having ideas are good a short pencil is better than a long term memory that's what i emphasize so we have to i emphasize on uh, writing down and i have a documents of triggers ideas like the different documents i am having once in a while i read them and take them uh, to execution that's how i do it so at the end of the day what i do i prepare a to do list what i have to do in the next day morning so i program my subconscious mind and uh, when i program my subconscious mind at the end of the day next day morning i do things automatically because already i have programmed my mind and that's the secret, secret of my success in my life so you can also fo follow it whatever you want to do it you can do it so program your mind and so that you get your behavior gets re reflected automatically and uh, next day morning i wake up and i do the same pattern i have the same pattern because already i program i program my subconscious mind and i survived the brain stroke because of the power of subconscious mind when i was on the bed during the second lockdown i was telling to myself i was giving commands that is i was i'm all right i am all right i'm getting better i'm betting i'm get i'm getting better so that's what i gave commands when i was on the icu bed to thought i won't survive but i survived because the power of subconscious mind so i implore everyone to unlock the your creativity unlock your leadership potential to grow as leader and to become ethical and mindful leaders that's what uh, uh, i do uh, this is briefly about uh, uh, the professor ms rao's uh, 4am rule and uh, and there is everyone has their own uh, circadian clock and what you have to do so that it circa circadian rhythm so you have to do it according to your comfort some people are night owls we can't force them because they have their own uh, rhythm but it's ideal when you uh, 
become an early person if you if you become uh, an early bird but this doesn't work for all people because people have different biological clocks one second thing they have their own commitments so people work in different time zones at different uh, work schedules so so uh, so we can't force so whatever you feel comfortable you can take it but don't uh, i don't force anyone i only uh, share my ideas whatever is comfortable you can accept whatever is not comfortable you can remove it and you have to keep moving but ideally the professor ms rao's 4 am rule is fairly good and is applicable for everyone irrespective of the countries so this is about the professor ms rao's uh, 4 am rule so i i introduced myself that was one second i talked about seattle third i shared my unique uh, Uh, experience at uh, uh, Washington uh, uh, Pass, where 43 minutes uh, I had uh, lots of challenges, but still I braved uh, the snow, back back pain, kept moving, and uh, recorded. Now I am very happy, and I was on cloud nine, nine when I came out of uh, that. Uh, what? Oh. washington pass so then i shared with you about uh, uh, the professor ms rao's uh, uh, 4 am rule and uh, i will uh, discuss uh, various other uh, aspects so i'll briefly explain to you about uh, my life i was born on october uh, uh, Thirty uh, first, nineteen sixty three, in a tiny uh, village, and I was born into a toxic family and grew up in a toxic environment. And uh, for eighteen years, I was at my home. Uh, huh? uh, this one, huh? 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 Yeah, this one, huh? This one. Ha 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 ha! Okay, okay. Here uh, it's a nice culture. Whatever people want, you know, they can give it. But they they leave it outside. Some TV was kept outside. Those who are interested, they can come and uh, take it. Some fruits, vegetables, uh, donation box, they keep, and you can uh, avail the opportunity. Okay. Now again, uh, let me circle back to my story. I was born on October. Uh, 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 31st uh, in the year 1963, and for 18 years I was at uh, my home, and uh, I was born in a toxic family and grew up in a toxic environment. Uh, and uh, for 18 years, uh, my childhood was chaos. I could not enjoy my childhood life because my father was uh, not organized, and he was a uh, litigant. and uh, alcoholic my mother uh, uh, is a disaster very that kind of uh, family i was born into and uh, i blow i blossomed from the mud like a lotus of toxic family and uh, became a healthy citizen after i joined indian air force precisely i was uh, lucky to be uh, i was lucky to join indian air force and i grew as a healthy citizen and as a leader so i discontinued my degree again uh, you people might think that i acquired qualifications from reputed universities and a regular education the the fact is that i i, I discontinued my degree uh, bsc uh, then i joined indian air force and uh, i paid condonation fee then uh, extended uh, by uh, more than a year i took questions and uh, uh, got my degree so all the qualifications i acquired uh, are on through private education the some of the quality uh, some of the quali- qualifications that i acquired are 
DME in aeronautical from uh, BSc which I discontinued then again continued to third uh, DCLL when I was in uh, Jodhpur night college I attended uh, about labor loss then I uh, got my MA sociology from Azmir University and uh, MBA uh, from Indira National University that is correspondence course so all these qualifications I acquired uh, through private education and people might think that I acquired qualifications through reputed universities so nothing was offered to me on a platter nobody funded me nobody sponsored for my education and nobody helped in any way on the other hand my own uh, uh, Toxic siblings took, uh, took away my gold, money, everything. They put me in a f f further, further uh, uh, financial mess. So life taught me so many lessons. So my life is full of uh, struggles. And, uh, and after in the year 2007, uh, I, I did business for 12 years. And I started business at the invitation of my father-in-law and brother-in-law. They both backstabbed and, and, and I landed in so many challenges. And everybody, people exploited my uh, 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 people exploited me, whether it's my father-in-law and brother-in-law or my own toxic siblings, they exploited the situation. Because I, I, I'm very soft, so that was misused and exploited by my own uh, family members. So I don't entertain relatives, I only entertain good friends. For me, friendship is thicker than blood. I built good uh, friends uh, and network after I joined Indian Air Force. And I am what I am because of good, good friends from Indian Air Force. Again, don't think that uh, my uh, friends are from... Uh, uh, officers background they are all uh, uh, airmen but we are very ha I am very happy with that kind of uh, friends friends are friends irrespective of the rank so I I was cursed with the rogue relatives and blessed by uh, good friends from Indian Air Force so everything has uh, merits and demerits so lots of challenges in my life and uh, and in the year 2007 i became a faculty member and uh, and for uh, 10 years more than 10 years my wife my two sons and i lived in the single bedroom rented flat which was around 400 sft and uh, we didn't have even a cot for more than 10 years and it was all because of uh, notorious relatives, toxic siblings. So life taught me so many lessons. So I want to write a book tentatively titled uh, Survivor, which talks about uh, my uh, brain stroke. And uh, I share uh, 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 stories about uh, uh, my books, my brain stroke and uh, opportunities betrayal by my own uh, family members and i will i will inspire uh, the people through storytelling so the title of the book is tentatively survivor and uh, first i have to improve my health current now i am not able to walk properly i have to improve my mobility of my right hand i have to improve my walking style and after a year or so, uh, when I get back to the feet, then I will write a book tentatively titled uh, Survivor. I think, I hope uh, this will be one of the best books in my life. Uh, I think God gives me strength and uh, great health to make things happen. So, I published uh, 53 books and uh, 60 books actually I wrote, 60 I published, 7 books are yet to be completed but uh, I have health challenges 
and the technology has changed everything so i think when uh, uh, when things fall into the place then i will complete my pending pro, pro, uh, book proposals uh, not proposals the books around seven books are there and uh, i have to update the facts and figures because things have changed for the last three and a half years so uh, i have to uh, improve everything then i have to edit update and uh, publishers are coming forward to publish because i have credibility and visibility and uh, my passion for writing helps me a lot so but uh, only thing i have to overcome the health challenges so daily i am doing uh, physiotherapy exercises i am going for a walk now i am going for a walk to enjoy the nature in seattle so what are the opportunities that come to us we have to avail don't uh, complain don't condemn don't criticize whatever the opportunities are available you have to avail them so nothing comes on a platter right very few people are blessed to have all those uh, things to succeed majority of the people they fail not because they are you can't say that they are fools but they don't have opportunities they don't they don't uh, 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 the facilities everything so what you have to do is you have to utilize with what you are having and you have to keep moving and there will be challenges you have to remove the barriers and you have to align everything then you have to keep moving this is life so hembras technology hembras uh, uh, change change is the only thing that is constant in this world so if you don't change you will be left out in the uh, race so stay relevant so i am passionate about acquiring my knowledge and sharing my knowledge i have four blogs and three youtube channels please subscribe to my youtube channels and share with your networks and uh, impact the human kind now i am go- going close to the home i think uh then uh i'll i think now 47 minutes so i'll return home and upload the video oh, oh, it's slippery <laughs> here people have the great culture they greet they smile so i'm happy to see smiling faces in seattle so people are good fairly good it all depends on how we take the things so as i, I was telling you know embrace change embrace technology to stay relevant life is all about learning unlearning and relearning keep moving and gain momentum don't stop work for what you are having without blaming uh, others it's the bad traits man who blames his tools a wise uh, man utilizes the available tools uh, to make things work so utilize what you are having so enjoy every moment of your uh, life life is great life is amazing life is creative so i'll show you a beautiful garden now 48 minutes so i'll show you the beautiful garden oh so this is a beautiful garden uh uh, uh my son uh, uh moved different places so he was in uh, sarakis university Uh, then again he, went, he was in uh, dallas then different places i don't remember now he is in uh, seattle for the last few years uh, he himself doesn't know where he will go to the next level a uh, next place because life can't be predicted i i thought something and something else uh, happened in my life so you, you must learn to live with the realities of uh, life and, uh, be positive never give up and i wanted to uh buy a land construct a home uh, after i got uh, married in the year uh, 1990 and i could not enjoy the 
nature i could not construct uh, own house and uh, and i was in cities so i could not enjoy uh, the pleasant uh, place like uh, seattle we can't say what happens next so i want to if things uh, work out and uh, if i make uh, money then i'll construct my an independent house and i would i would like to live with my wife uh in 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 what are the place i can't say whether in india or seattle or whatever it is but the things are not working out when things work out i'll buy a land construct a independent house and i will live with my wife and my children's two sons will come and enjoy and go back to their own places so this is the vision i am having i don't know how it works up how it works it depends on uh, destiny so be positive and uh, so this is about the life this is the garden where you can see apples whenever i see apples i recall uh, kashmir two states i love Kash- uh, kerala and uh, kashmir uh, kanyakumari so i encouraged my two sons ramkrishna sai ganesh sai uh, traveling and uh, they also i encouraged my two sons to travel along with me and we traveled entire india and we enjoyed life and we cherish those moments and what happens next we can't say you can't predict what happens next so i wish my two sons lead their own lives ethically and mindfully and they grow as great leaders globally so this is about this one so every book has got its own message so the message i would like to share with everyone is uh, health first education second and wealth third if you are having uh, good health you can keep moving and uh, when you have good uh, health then you, you should emphasize on education education is key then third thing you need to have wealth you have to generate wealth for yourself and the people and impact uh, human kind if you so this is the message i am sharing with everyone enjoy uh, the beautiful life and uh, so we have two cats one is mugli and another is uh, uh, B- uh, bagira my two sons uh, uh, my younger son ramkrishna sai has brought two cats bagira and mugli and uh, they were when they were born they were uh, twins so my younger son wanted to take only one cat but uh, another uh, cat was crying because both were twins so my younger son thought uh, it's uh, not good to separate uh, two cats they are twins then he took extra extra cat that uh, now he has two cats and uh, he brought from dallas to uh, seattle and my son is so kind uh, that uh, uh, he paid 5 lakhs uh, for, to treat the kidney of a uh, uh, cat that is bagira and another cat uh, by name mugli which is white in color that uh, has uh, 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 asthma problem so he spends money for two cats so uh, you can imagine when when you could uh, spend money for two cats imagine how much my younger son ramkrishna sai cares me and my wife so we are very lucky my wife and i are very lucky to have such kind of son and we also have another son uh, ganesh sai uh, he is also looking for opportunities so i hope they both will lead their own paths and succeed so this is the uh, story yes bagira come come yeah come on come on bagira i it's jumping so i hope uh, if you like this video please share with your network uh, 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 and uh, the, the message uh, is that life is very beautiful life is uh, creative life is amazing life is inspiring life is a miracle life is a magic life is great and be positive and uh, be happy and uh, 
it's uh, painful now i am uh, just let me check yeah this is uh, i wanted to check my own face okay fine you can see bagira cat yeah bagira come 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 huh huh bagira come 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 uh, it's going inside uh, uh, it's a very very pleasant. now it's uh, dizzling now so here uh, weather keeps changing in seattle now it's dizzling so luckily we went we went out and uh, came in now you know it's the uh, sun is there but still it is dizzling so uh, seattle is a city of contrast it's known as emerald city a beautiful city and uh, my wife and i are very lucky blessed to come to seattle we don't think we will come to us second time of course we can't predict what happens next but uh, as on today we are enjoying in seattle in excellent uh, ambience uh, with gratitude thank you